okay, this is me actually getting ready for New Year's Eve. I decided to just put my camera on and film it. So I'm putting on a conductor gel because these are microcurrent devices. I have two different ones. Um, they were sent to me, so I just use them at the same time. The, the flat one is the Zip Halo. The bigger one is the New Face. Then I'm removing the gel with some Bioderma. Uh, I like to use this before I go out because it just tightens my face up a little bit. Then I'm onto my Shiseido skincare. This is the Ultimine um, line, which I really, really like. Then SPF, because I always wear it, it's just a habit. Maybelline Tattoo Brow, a very useful product if you have not got time to dye your eyebrows, but you want quite a natural brow. Uh, sometimes the problem with these products is the delivery system and not the product. I hate the brush that it applies with, so I use my own brush and I just draw it on exactly where I want it so it doesn't go everywhere. And then I just leave it to set and I put my primer on. This one is Clarins SOS and this particular primer just minimizes fatigue. I'm really, really tired all the time. So <laughs> pop that on. Now uh, the tattoo brow should be set so you can just remove what's left and your brows will be dyed. A little bit of Bioderma to take off residue and look, lovely, dark, done brows. Very easy in minutes. Then uh, Glossier this is the Perfecting Skin Tint, and I'm using this because I want to go for a bit of an eye and a lip. Um, I'm wearing quite a long and elegant dress, and I feel like I need to make an effort. And so I want the skin to be soft if everything else is going to be strong. Otherwise, it's just going to be a lot of a look. Uh, what you missed there was the Murad Wrinkle Corrector, which I use on my brow uh, because I have a lot of fine lines there, and it just cancels them out. And then this is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I'm just using that just in little places where I might need it, but not all over the face, so I can keep the skin still quite light. Laura Mercier, Tinted Moisturiser, uh, bronzer. The Tinted Moisturising Bronzer in the colour Sunbeam. So it's a very sheer texture, and that's just going to give me a little bit of shape and colour on the face. don't know why there's so much footage of that. Then, this is a discontinued product, uh, Tom Ford Cream and Powder eyeshadows. I think they still make these, but not in this colour. I just wanted something that would give me um, a little bit of a sort of silvery hue without being silver. So it's pretty neutral and I just pop the cream all over the lid and then I buff it and buff it and then use the brush that I used for foundation over the top just to soften it into the skin so it's not just sitting there. Uh, Laura, uh, sorry, Victoria Beckham. Uh, this is the Night Flash pencil and I'm going to uh, create a little bit of a wing with this pencil and then use a brush to really, really blend it so it's a bit softer than that. I think I went a bit over the top with it, to be honest. But there we go. Keep applying and blending until you get the exact shape you want. There we go. Sort of. Um, lash curlers, these ones uh, are from Guru Makeup Emporium. You just step them across and then you can curl the outside edges if you want to lift there. Or you can do the whole lashes. I think I'm just doing the outside corners here. Uh, mascara is Ruby Hammer. This is the lash and brow. And then I will turn the product around and use the brow product just to keep the five brows I have in place. Uh, this is a Rare Beauty lip pencil, which in the colour strong. I really like it for freckles and I do tend to do this just draw a few in and then just soften it because if I'm not going to wear a lot of blusher on my cheek it also gives me a little bit of colour on the cheek. Um, shaping the lips with the NYX nude beige pencil here and then we'll go back to our mascara and do the bottom lashes. Don't know why there's so much footage of this such an unflattering shot. Uh, Oh, and then I'm softening the lashes with a brush. I like it quite soft. Now, this was very brave. So you'll have to stick with me on this one. The father of my children, his girlfriend, bought me this for Christmas. Um, imagine buying somebody who wears red lipstick and has so many a red lipstick and actually picking one that I didn't have. Uh, well done, Uta. Good job. This is a big large plate GHD and I don't like to do a lot of my hair if I have so much makeup on. So I just do the front bits and a few extra bits. So I just bend this front section in half and hold the plate on it and then you get this nice kind of shape uh, around the face. Other side, same thing. 
You can do this all over the hair if you want to. It's a really nice way to kind of get an S wave. Um, it looks like it's your natural hair, I think. But also it's a little bit glamorous too, actually. Um, there you go. This is me doing a back bit. And then I'm just going back in, blending everything out, to just seeing how it all balances together. Tap in my freckles. And then, that's too close. These shoes are Alexander McQueen, and I can't remember where I bought them years and years and years ago. I think they're from a 2004 show or something like that. This dress I bought from uh, Vestier. It's an Ellery dress, and I got it at a fraction of the price. It was probably like 20% of the original price. I think I paid 200 quid for it, which is still a lot, but it was like 1800 I think. Um, bit of Sam McKnight, uh, cool girl. And then that's it. This is the entire outfit there you go there's my cute shoes and then we might as well do the jewelry I put all of my jewelry that I have on and then I attach charms to it all sorts of bits and bobs and I just wear it all at once and it gives people mo major anxiety because it all tangles together but I just like it that's it guys thanks bye